So this is nice. Um, Noah regained one MP from, or two MP from his weapon, which means uh, he can now cast another bolt, level four, which I'm gonna do with the help of Maskrin. 98 damage. We're quite screwed, actually, Tybalt. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, let's see. Items use. Yeah. I'm gonna pee on you with the pink with Penko. <laughs> Ultimate. Ultimate accumulation. Bye, Tybalt. And that's it. This is sad in a bit. If only the Noah army hadn't interfered, it would have been able to fully restore the Juggernaut and Aspio would be mine. Oh, so that was your plan. So you and Garvin were working together. Why would you turn on the Republic? Equality is nothing but wishful thinking. I couldn't continue to pursue an unrealistic hope. So this is all about different political views. But you and Kim Benetram are responsible for the con continued development of the Republic. I have had enough of responsibility and duty of having to prop this country up, supporting its people on this fruitless land. It seems the pressure on General Chivalt allowed him to be exploited by Garvin, a sad fate. Tell me, General Chibolt, was your shard sent to the Emperor to aid you? <laughs> sent by the Emperor, so. <laughs> Yasha wasn't seen, sent by the Emperor. Yasha is assisting us to avenge Prince Arant. Okay. Everything is mysterious. What is he saying? If Yasha was off spying for the Emperor, how could he have cooperated with Garvin and Chibolt? <laughs> What has happened to Yasha Grantak? You stopped Garvin and the ancient tank and defeated Chibolt, who had joined forces with Yasha. You have fought brilliantly, Noah. You have also dealt with the Isaac army, a formidable enemy that was has defeated many generals. Well, not that part of the army, but you defeated them soundly. Yeah, it felt kind of good. Am I bad for saying that? Yasha informed me of Tybalt and Garvin's arrangements. Do you say Tybalt and Garvin's or Tybalt's and Garvin's in English? Not sure. I think it, it can, could be either way in Swedish. I'm fortunate to have such a powerful ninja working for me. Such an excellent Imperial spy. It is regrettable that the No Army was forced to defeat him. You misunderstand the Emperor, Campbell. Emperor Damaric was speaking of Yasha. You have more important things to do than criticize my handlings of underlings. You should search for the soldiers that were buried in the blast, Noah. Yeah. I have, feel, have a feeling this isn't over by any stretch of the imagination. Well, since there is a scenario 3, it's certainly not over. Garvin was, was defeated, but he tricked me. I was careless and allowed him to fire the giant cannon. Yeah, you suck, David. But how did you survive, by the way? It's my fault the prince was put in danger. Please forgive me. No explanation? What's done is done, David. In the end, everyone is safe, and that's our primary concern. Right, Prince Noah? <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, apart from the people from um, Isaac's army that killed. That's right, Noah. The important thing is everyone is safe, and we won the battle, so we have no complaints. Thank you for saying as much. However, if Yasha, Yasha had not interfered, the giant cannon would have never been never been fired. Oh. Um, did you say Yasha, David? 
Um, it's mysterious. Mysterious. Speaking of that, when we were saving David's battalion from the Trunks rubble, Calvin's body was nowhere to be found. I wonder where he could have gone. Okay. Yes, it was the infamous Yasha. It's hard to believe he escaped unscathed. Yeah, but what about you? If Yasha was in the tank, how did he get, get to the other side of the castle wall to a general Chibolt? <laughs> well, he can teleport, it seems. Or something, I'm not sure. If that's what he's doing, or if he's just good at being invisible and then appears when he is seen when he wants to. I don't know. What are you talking about, Frantek? Yasha appeared with Chibolt? Are you saying he teleported or something? Well, he has been teleporting all through the game, so... I heard a rumor in storage. It was Yasha who tried to kill Adenon while the boy was being held hostage. Yes, I heard that rumor too. Yasha was being um, was with Emperor Domaric, yet he was in his Aspia sim simultaneously. That can't be, okay. After we passed through the volcano, Yasha came to report to Prince Arant, but I wonder if we really saw him. <laughs> Perhaps he's a hologram? A super advanced technology? It appears everyone in David's battalion has been accounted for. We're all safe. That's the best outcome we could have hoped for, Prince Noah. Is this a happy ending? The Emperor is truly delighted, Prince. He's happy you defeated the Isaac Force despite being on being on better terms with them than with the, the Imperial Army. Do you really think the Prince wanted to battle the Isaac Army? He was forced into battle with them because of you. Yeah. Sir, you don't seem to realize who you're dealing with. An imprudent word invites disaster is the saying that comes to mind. But you're a dick, Fidrit. It, it has been proven you are a dick. The fact remains that we defeated the Aisha army. No matter what we say, may say or do now, friendly terms can't be re-established. <laughs> it's all over now. Let's return to Distonia. Um, return to Distonia? Yeah, I don't think he wants that. I can't allow that, Noah. I still have something something for you to do. Yeah, hooray. Prince Noah's duty was to defeat Carvin. What else is there? Okay. Yeah. It's not that hard to imagine. What we fear the most. Occupation of Aspinius Caspital, Aspir. Yeah. You have fulfilled your duty as an Imperial General marvelously by defeating the Isaac Force. However, you must also complete one final task. That wasn't our promise, Emperor Domaric. Our purpose was to defeat Garvin, not to avenge Prince Arant. Avenge him? Think about it, Campbell. The one who actually defeated Arant still lives. Okay, that's not good. But Emperor Domaric, Prince Arant, was defeated as an invader of Aspia. Didn't you say the Republic couldn't be held accountable? <laughs> that's a different matter, Grantak. The Emperor ordered you to defeat Garvin, but he did not say you should forgive the Republic. Uh, you're a dick, Fidrit. You fooled us, Emperor Domaric. The real reason you had us battle Garvin was to provoke him to use the tank's cannon. <laughs> the castle wall of Aspia, once thought to be invincible, was no match for the Juggernaut's cannon. The path to Aspia has been opened. No, we fought that dangerous battle just because you wanted to destroy Aspia's castle wall? Okay. That's awful. Just too cruel. Prince Noah. Sorry. Ah. 
crap, come on. I keep forgetting about the screensaver. I should change the settings, I'm so sorry. Prince Noah, would you really aid in this war of aggression? Not really. It's time to stop, I think. The prince is a good man and won't take part in your invasion. You are too calm, Emperor Domaric. You must have a trump card, like Donald. I'm not going to force Noah to do anything, but I wonder how mad is doing. Uh huh. I can't say Aront and Magron got along well, but they are safe. They are of the same mother. Prince Magaron must be sad as well. I'm sure he hopes to see vengeance dealt. Prince Magaron's force is headed here, keeping his eye on our backs, was he? <laughs> they will be here any moment now, accompanied by Melinda. Oh, Mom. Did you say a lady, Melinda? I see. You're planning to blackmail us by using the prin Prince Noah's mother as a hostage. <laughs> hostage? What your what your mouth, Grandpa? The Emperor wanted Lady Melinda to see Noah's bravery, so he sent for her. Yeah, you're not fooling anyone, Pidrit. That's it. The letter honestly delivered. Those orders were in that letter. Think of it as insurance. I had my doubts about Noah, so I sent a letter to Magaron. As long as the Noah army respects the Emperor's will and pledges its allegiance to the Empire, no harm will come to Lady Melinda. Yeah, that's pretty much blackmail. Uh, Tibble, sorry, Federate, so... It is your choice, Noah, but consider how Magaron will feel. After all, Arant was his young, younger brother. Yeah, but... They hated each other? Or perhaps they didn't, I don't know. The claim in Aspinia, which was originally part of the Empire, is the Emperor, Emperor's earnest wish. I'd like you to carry out that mission. I don't Prince Magaron will accept Prince Noah being friendly with Lord Isaac, okay? Yeah, this is a mess. I can't believe Prince Noah would ab abandon Lord Isaac, but he's laying Melinda's life at stake. That's a possibility. However, I don't believe it will come to that. Prince Noah will not betray the Empire. Oh. What will you do, Prince Noah? Will you march on Aspia? Uh, I guess I have to now. It seems there is no other way. After learning your mother's life hangs in the balance, I'm sure we all agree that there is no choice but to cooperate with the Emperor. Well then, I'm heading to Aspia Castle. If you decided to assist with the reclamation of Aspia, let's be on our way. So this is very early, like, uh, choose your path kind of game with uh, answering yes or no to questions and stuff like that, but very minor. But I don't think your answers right here affects anything, but in a more modern game, they could. Prince Magaron cares deeply for the Emperor. If the Emperor were to fall by a Republican hand, Magaron's anger would be doubled. But I'm not that afraid of Magaron, to be honest. So there's a lot of cut scenery here in the end. What should we do, Kai? What do you mean? She's the prince's mother. We can't just let them kill her. If the prince was, has no choice but to follow the emperor, then the Noah army must join him. Our only option is to conquer Aspia. <laughs> yeah. The members of the Noah army have joined under various circumstances. I can't force you to join the prince in this invasion, but I beg you to cooperate. Yeah. 
Are you referring to me? Do you think I would abandon the prince? Then, David, you will. Of course, I feel for the Republic, but it appears we must occupy Asbia to save the prince's mother. No matter how the Republic may despise us, we will do what we must to save your mother, Lady Melinda. Are we all in agreement? Yeah, I suppose. Would be cool if the only one who didn't want to partake in the invasion was, like, Penko or someone. Nah, I'm going away doing penguin business. Sorry. Okay, this doesn't look too good. And it's very funeral-like music. Oh, he's having second thoughts. The village is in terrible condition. The destruction is greater than I had ima imagined. It's terrible, you say? <laughs> But who made it terrible? You damn Imperials, that's who. Our house, our life, we want them back. Yeah, this is... heartbreaking, in a way. Prince, the Emperor is up ahead. We should hurry and catch him. Leave us alone, Imperial Army! Oh. Yeah, we're not very welcome here. Stop it, you will be killed by the heartless Imperials. Oh. So be it, everything is ash. I'd rather be dead anyway. anyway. We have life, we can start over, we can restore Aspen. Yeah, so we are dicks, it has been proven, and someone is throwing, yeah, small boy, of course, let's kill him. Bring my dad back. Oh, My baby, what are you doing? Please forgive him, do what you will to me, but please have mercy on my child. Um, yeah. The prince is a kind man. He would not harm either of you. That. <laughs> yeah, I. She surely believes you. Yeah, so you killed his dad. Prince Noah. Uh, uh, yeah, whatever. Let's get on with it. This is war. Remember this scene so that you may may understand the citizen's sadness. Hi, Father. You're a good guy, aren't you? Swell. You have come, Prince. Ahead is what surely what will surely be the final battleground with the Republic. Lead the way, Noah. This is the final conflict with Isaac. Alright. inside the castle. So this is very dark. <laughs> and I will make a cut. Hold on a bit. So let's see if this was the final cut then. So this is Ashby Akash. <laughs> It's the Noah army. Leave no one alive. Uh, 
you've defeated the Barad army and now you intend to occupy Aspia. You won't proceed one step fur further. Precede? Shouldn't it be proceed? I think that's one mistake that you can look up. Um, I mean, you um, editors of this game. Uh, anyway, so these two are gonna stop us. Something. Don't think it's just us two. Our country's hero, Isaac, and his force will be here to defeat you. Yeah, no. And here they come. Dantress, we meet again. So this is the same scene as in the end of scenario one. I can't believe this. I never would have thought the invasion would be led by you, Prince Noah. Uh, yeah, neither did I. Faith, do you take us for fools? You have invaded Aspia. We won't let you get away with this. <laughs> Yeah, he's so evil. Finally, my dearest wish of 20 years has been fulfilled. I have reclaimed the territory which was stolen by Conrad. He was a good guy, apparently. Emperor Bavari, this can't be. You were abducted. I should have known there was a master plan behind this abduction farce that put our two nations on the path of, to war. Isn't that right, Emperor Domari? Hmm. You're tactful as ever, Benetrum. Have you come to surrender, Aspia? Is that how it, it was? Is that how it was, Prince Noah? You and the Emperor used the turmoil of the fake abduction to deceive both your enemies and allies so you could invade Aspia? Lord Isaac, that's not true. This is ab absolutely unavoidable. <laughs> you. I saw you in Saraban. Yes, you must be Isaac. Isaac, son of Conrad, eh? The one who defeated her aunt. There are many things I must thank you for. Hmm. Yeah, he's a douche. I won't allow you to lay a hand on Lord Isaac. Tantris, is that a challenge? I'm ready any time. Our reckoning is long overdue. So feelings are heating up here. Oh, stop, stop bitching about. Let's just do it. What are you saying, Prince Noah? You say now is not the time for battle? If not, then why are we here? Will you betray the Empire, Prince Noah? You have promised to avenge Prince Ron's death. If that promise isn't kept... Please let me fight, Prince Noah. Even if I can be, will be labeled as an invader for the rest of my life, as long as I can save her life. Hmm. Her life? Then the prince is being forced into this to protect someone's life. Is this true, Prince Noah? Um, kinda. It's getting hot. Ah ha 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 ha! He enjoys being evil. This is all your doing, Emperor Domaric. You are as terrifying as ever. Benetram, all your knowledge and wisdom can't help you now. But, uh, well, all your armor and your beard can't help you from my dick in your face. Trufiderit, I almost forgot your name. Noah, you have earned my trust. Put Conrad's son to death and deliver Aspia to me. Dantress, draw. <gasps> oh. Yeah, that's not a match for them. Be careful, Lord Isaac. They are the ones who defend, defeat, defeated our other battalion. Yeah, and they are weaker than we, I believe. I will fight too, Isaac. No, Tristus. You suck. 
Why, Benetton? Why won't you allow me to join the battle? I can still fight. It's been a while since you've been on the front. I don't want those four to fight either. You should de definitely stay out of the battle. Been a while? I'll, I mean, he looks like he's about 30 years old, so... I guess he was a soldier as a 15-year-old or something. Anyway... Do it, Noah! For the Empire! Defeat Conrad's son! Even if you suppress Suspinia by force and an exit for the Empire, the people will rise again. Are you prepared to deal with that, Emperor Damaric? Aspinia will not rise up again. I'll make sure it doesn't have the strength. I will make sure the people are grateful just to be alive. Yeah, this is probably worth your mother's life. Even as you hear Emperor Damaric's words, you still intend to conquer us before him? Are you such a centaur, Campbell? You should not judge, Stantress. You don't know how the princess I feel. Prince and I feel. In our situation, I am willing to close my eyes, cover my ears and fight. Prince Noah, I thought you were different. No, I still believe you are. You love the people and defend freedom. Freedom! Much like in Braveheart, you know. It's not too late, Prince. Please, sheath your sword. What are you waiting for? Do it, Noah! If you don't, Melinda will! Oh, the battle is raging. No, you must not fight. <gasps> Honestly. Honestly? Honesty, why are you here? You are Rogan soldier. Have you delivered the letter letter to Magaron? I delivered the letter to Prince Magaron, but that letter. Yeah, what about it? But what about it? Yeah, exactly. For once I agree with you, Fidrit. Um uh Oh hurt Yasha. So it's you, Yasha. I thought you were to greet Prince Magaron. Is he still alive? <laughs> Yasha, you weren't summoned and yet you have appeared. That's unlike you. You're injured. What has happened? Prince Magaron is... Pete. Ugh. No, Prince Magaron is not Pete. Actually, Pete is someone else. Oh, and he's dead. Yasha, what about Prince Magron? And who's Pete? For Pete's sake. And zoom out. And that's it. Scenario 2 out of the way. So yeah, this is a three-part episode, I think. If I... I am... Thinking correctly about the time and stuff, this should be a three-parter, and uh, so an epic three-parter to end an epic game, or an epic middle part of the game. Now we only have part three left, so looking forward to playing that. Actually, part three is where the action sat. Something it's where stuff gets real um, epic and stuff. Anyway, that's Pete, by the way. Doesn't look at all like Magaron. And uh, yeah, the Skavens helped me level up Penko from level 1 to level 10, by the way. Or level 2 to level 10. I, I gave Penko a brave apple, I admit that. Uh, in the end, it didn't really matter because, oops, uh, because I didn't attack with Penko a whole lot, only used the evil wing, but to great effect.
Ooh, that's her claw attack, I guess. And that's the grumpy old man uh, with his uh, regret hit or something. I don't know what he has. Don't hurt. Oh, someone leveled him up to have level 3 on lances while still fighting sissy crabs. I'm quite impressed by that, to be fair. And fairy soul. And that that didn't that couldn't happen because she was under enemy control in that battle. And here we go. Dominion Ray. Just commenting commenting a bit on the scenery here. So I had a few thoughts on uh, the game. Yeah, mostly it was about the um, uh, insta-kill spells that you give to the um, thing, the, the skull mage. That's, if you're unlucky, it can really screw you over there. It's not, um, it's not a ver very fun way, but of course, uh, with aura in your in your force, uh, I guess. Uh, I guess everything is alright. Uh, I guess. Uh, um, I, what am I trying to say? I guess uh, these mass effect spells or things like that you could too easily recover from. So he needs to have some sort of spell that gives him a chance like that. That makes him a challenge. So, yeah, but it's kind of hard to keep up friendships with that, with that thing out there. And Omarik and David. David gets quite a high attack power for having only secondary weapons. I will say. And that's bolt level 4, isn't it? Spark level 4. I guess she can gain it. Oh. The Kraken legs or something. But yeah, that's one tip to take away from it, uh, seeing zero there. Uh, use zero as much as you can while you have him on the force. Because he leaves you so much, so many times that he will lag behind, so the best you can do is to mitigate that effect as much as possible. So if I remember correctly, there is one of these summon spells in the last time, last game that is um, glitched, uh, it's glitching out the game. Oh, she's hitting robots, right? <laughs> the rain bloods. They are nasty. <sighs> oh. That's probably the attack of the Lord Halberd, isn't it? And oh, this is the um, the sword he gets with a rapier. I think the the one I missed in the dungeons. <laughs> but I missed out on that rapier. But uh, I'm okay. I think I'm. He's okay with spark level four, as is anyway. So. Right, so they've given the characters entirely different weapons in these setups. Here we go. Is it Wendigo? No, it's Thor. So yeah, they gave wands to just to show something different than what I went went with, I guess, or something. Or to, I mean, I went with the default weapons for everyone. Um, yeah, special attack on a barrel is probably worth it, or I don't know. Um, I didn't know you could do special attacks on barrels, but 
<laughs> yeah. So, I'm Garvin, finally. Photon Rage. It wasn't that hard, uh, the the final battles here, because of course you can refine, uh, re, what do you call it, refrain from uh, leveling up your characters the the way I did. Um, but and Takahashi, of course, the one behind all these, the brothers Takahashi, I think, behind all these games. I think you, you don't have to level up that much, as much as I did, and that way the battles will be slightly harder, but leveling up to level 20 is so easy, so um, it's very quick with the enemies in the, in the tune, so it's all good. And that's it. And uh, now we're back here, I think. Oh. It's epilogue, I think. But now we're back in time a bit. Captain, there's a light up ahead. Oh, right, so this screen is misplaced. I remember that. Something weird with this. That light? Could it be land? Did you say a light? Yeah. It must be a lighthouse. That means land. Everyone, it's a lighthouse. Land is in, is in sight. Ooh, and there's Pete. Not at all like Magron. I repeat. And Gracia. And uh, the owl guy. Sounds like we're finally close to Dystonia. It must be Dystonia. So, that's where we'll be fighting the Vandal's ancient weapon. Yes, the capital of Dystonia, a city overflowing with greed and corruption. What a truly despicable place. He's very left-wing, isn't he? Donhort, no matter how much you may despise Dystonia, it's the capital of our empire. <laughs> I'm aware, Brisby. And moving on with that. So yeah, sorry, the screen is out of place, but it wasn't... You didn't see, I don't think we miss out on anything on the side of the screen or anything. Probably a problem with the emulation or something. Welcome back, Noah. You should have saved your game. This record would be used for the next adventure. Yeah, sure. There we go. And he wakes up. He's been sleeping for 50 hours or something. Phew. Noah and Isaac were within an inch of killing each other. If I hadn't stopped time... Master Gabriel, the one who stopped those two from fighting to the death, was Pete, wasn't it? <laughs> Pete, eh? However, the suspension of their battle is only temporary. We can't foresee what will come to pass. Somehow, the fate of the world has become entirely dependent on Pete. It looks like we will need to turn back the time once more for you to, for you to live the fate of Pete. What? Again? The preparations are really difficult, you know. Uh, or, I don't know who's talking, but anyway. But, I guess... Is this the wizard talking, perhaps? I guess there's no way around it, in, right? What are the preparations, Faye? Compared to actually turning back time, I'm sure they're much, much easier. Two fates revealed. The final fate remains. Just once more, we must have your help. Once we finish the preparations for Rush in time, you absolutely must lend us your strength again. I don't know if I gave that the right thing, but anyway. So, end screen. And thank you for if you stayed with me throughout this game i will see you for scenario three uh if you're up for it until then be well ciao